ocean just to see if I could swim But there's something in the water stopping me from diving in And I could do much better and you know that I would Give all my things to charity if I thought it would do some good liquid that you guys have been staring at for a solid 15 minutes in silence. It's a wishing potions guy. Just go with it. Just go, wait, like that thing Callie was trying to make? Wait, what was Callie trying to make? I don't know. It was like, it was a very strange cooking project. So, back on topic, guys. Who's gonna drink that? Well, Natalie isn't here, so... Not it. it. What? Hey! Okay, guys, that wasn't entirely fair. Give me a second. Hold on. Okay, so I think I figured it out. So whoever draws the shortest straw that I have here is going to have to drink that thing. Okay, so that should settle it. If you'll excuse me, I have some research to do. Why me? And twice in a row at that. Just face it, Ashley. Lady Fate has got me for you. Well, if there is actually an all-powerful lady named Fate, I want to have a word with her. Okay, now you're just stalling. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Wasn't something supposed to happen? Well, if it was, then I just drank some toxic purple sludge for nothing. Well, let's see if it works. I wish... Wait! Isn't, isn't there always, like, a catch to these things? She's right. We could end up fixing Scott's memory, but she could lose her powers or something even worse. Yeah, plus we only have three shots of this, guys. Okay, how about you just wish to get Sky back? Yeah, if you picture her with all of her memories, it should work. Worth a shot. And then you can wish for a pet walrus. Why would you want a pet walrus? Why wouldn't you want a pet walrus? You have a point, but Ashley, continue. I wish that we had Sky back. Again. Sir! Well, at least we got Sky physically back. What the heck is going on? Let me maybe try again. Wait, oh, okay. Did I just teleport? How is that physically possible? I wish that Sky had her mem memories of magic back. Sky? I'm a Nyad! I'm a Nyad! I remember everything! I'm a Natalie! She's back! <laughs> oh, that Callie is gonna pay. Correction, the darkness is gonna pay. Wait, in cash? <gasps> or in gold? And free snacks? We do know that the real Callie has nothing to do with this, right? What the heck are you doing? Oh, just 
getting a few things. When I'm through with you, no! I'm gonna <laughs> so are you on her side now or what? No, it's just we can't risk hurting our Callie. My Callie. Two fish down, requesting access back up. Sir, thank you. Alright, that's fine. Can you help us up, please? What are you doing? She's looking to see what potion ingredients Callie took to try and figure out what she's doing. Monica, why do you defend Callie so much? She's evil. Well, ever since she came to live here, she's, um, she's lived with me. And so we've gotten very close. <coughs> Yay! Bless you. Thank you. Wait, did I see your bless you? Is Stella here? No, she's at her cousin's birthday. Besides, not all sneezes have to be associated with Stella. Did you ever figure out what that potion was for? No, unfortunately, I couldn't really tell. But she took my liquid fire, which is really bad because that's going to be deadly. Oh, well, I already dealt with a scary death wish shish with my own fire monster. No need to fear when Natalie Chicken is here. Wait, what do you mean you dealt with Callie? Oh, well, I used a firefly to make her hideout go boom. And you did what? Blow. What? So guys, what's going on? I don't speak Natalie. Well, okay, so the Deathless Fish struck again, and then I had to deal with a heated hand and beat her at her own Boom Boom cards. Okay, so she either blew up Callie's hideout or a big mushroom exploded. Monica must have gone after Callie. It's just like, she doesn't understand that Callie's evil now. Wait, but guys, Callie's hideout is this tiny island way in the middle of the ocean. And without Stella here to teleport us, there's no way we can get there in under an hour. Speedy, speedy, zoom, zoom. <laughs> Sky's right. By the time we would get there, it would almost certainly be nightfall, and we'd be swimming the rest of the night to get home. I don't think that's going to stop Monica, though. We have to go after her. Won't that be dangerous? I mean, do we really have much of a choice? Monica's our friend. We have to have her back. All right, let's go. Friendo, Timo, gay! Oh. and I'm going to destroy this of you and take my place at the head of the Seven Seas. But you weren't hurt and Kelly didn't know what she was doing. And why should I care? Kelly. Monica, stay back! She's dangerous! You heard her. Get back. You'll never be a danger to me. I said, get back! I will end you if it is the last thing I do. Don't hurt her! 